Hey y'all, so today is Sunday. This vlog will probably go up tomorrow. I am just gonna do a day of vlogging um, on my hunt and gather day to show you guys kind of what I pick up. I just pulled up to a Dollar Tree. Um, I'm actually trying to get something specific. So let me set you guys up real quick before I, before I get in the store. I got my gloves, my Lysol, and a brand new mask. Clarence got it for me. He's an essential worker, so his job, like, sells, not sells, but issues out masks to them all the time. So he brings them home. So we always have fresh masks. Um, I'm trying to find this thing so I can do Cam's one-month pictures. Oh, I need some water. I have been living by this swell bottle, y'all. I'm going to try to sit down and film a video for you guys to show you what all of my, like, quarantine favorites have been. If I have some favorite items that, although we are stuck in the house, I have been living by. So... Oh, this one's awesome. His job didn't give us these the last time. These are like reusable. Mm. Awesome. I look like a freaking Mortal Kombat hero or whatever they call those things that Caden's always playing. I've been carrying around this little clear bag lately too. I didn't want to keep carrying my MCM pouch. So let me get in here, spray my gloves. Alrighty. Let me see if they have what I need and then I'll check back in with you guys. Alright y'all. So I found what I needed from the Dollar Tree. But I'm mad because let me back up. I found the one thing I needed and ended up getting 10 other things as well. Uh, so that's how it goes. I'm now headed to Sprout um, so that I can get our produce. I do the same thing pretty much every week. Sprout is where I get all of our produce from. I hate getting produce from like Kroger, stuff like that. It just, um, it never looks right to me at our Kroger. Always um, super picked over and stuff like that, so I just hate that. Um, let me turn my air on. Y'all, it's a hot day today. Where's my car saying it's 79 degrees? So yeah, it's a hot day today. Um, I should not have gone out this way. Oh, damn well. This is like the wrong way. I had to pull that move. Woo! Girl, be out here shucking and jiving in this traffic. Um, because I sure shouldn't have done that, but shit, I needed to go this way. Um, I made sure it was clear at least. But yeah, so now I'm headed to Sprout. Um, and then when I come back, I have to do Walmart and Kroger. And the only reason I'm stopping at Walmart is because um, there's just some things from Walmart that I have to get that only I can get from Walmart, i.e. our gallons of water. We drink water by the gallon. We have a dispenser in our refrigerator. So I buy our water by the gallon instead of like all these individual bottles. The only little bottles I'll get are the little short bottles for Caden. Um, just so that he's not walking around like wasting water. Like it's a, a serving amount for him so that I can ensure he gets the right amount of water. So that's that on that. Um, yeah, but I'm headed to Sprout just to pick up all of our produce and everything. Um, and then from there head back to Kroger like I, I feel like I'm gonna be super quick 
with everything that I need. I do want to stop at Home Depot though and see if I can find some plants, some type of plants. Um, like I said, I follow um, Happy Stylish Mommy and she went and picked up some house plants and I was like, you know, that's what my house needs. Like some greenery, like it's just kind of dull in like our living quarters and that is because there is no live plants. So I said that would be a good idea to get some live plants. So I'm going to go look, see if I find anything that I am intrigued by. And if I do, then I will go ahead and pick that up. Um, I'm coming up on six weeks postpartum. I'm excited. Um, I can't get back in the gym, but I can definitely get back to like working out. So that's good. I am like 10 pounds away from my pre-pregnancy weight which is good so in that month like you know it's been shedding i will attribute that i've been shedding and i will attribute that to breastfeeding and drinking a lot of water because that's what i do i feel like i pump i nurse i drink water and i've been trying to eat right so um yeah that's been working beautifully for me um and i feel like you know if i keep on that path then I'll be um, where I want to be so that's that on that um, it's pretty much going to be like a boring another boring quarantine vlog y'all um, to me they're boring to y'all they're you know entertaining I have a lot of you like DM me via Instagram or you leave comments saying you enjoyed the vlog so I appreciate it but to me I'm like I'm not doing anything like I'm literally getting the stuff I need and getting back in the house um and on Sundays I like to get this done early I had a meeting this morning at 8 45 so I wasn't able to get out as early as I would like to um simply because it was it ran a little bit long to like 9 50 something almost 10 o'clock uh, and because of that I just got out a lot later and then I had to pump so it was a lot but I am at Sprout now hopefully I can be in and out of here too oh spray my hands with my lights on get this good old mask on and I'll see you guys in a minute So this is all the groceries and I'm going to put everything up here in a second. I just had to eat my food first. <clears throat> the baby's sleeping. So hopefully he will stay asleep while I put the food up and pump. So we shall see. All right. So let me share a quick grocery haul with you guys. I picked up some of these mini muffins because they were buy one, get one free. And Kaden loves these as like little snacks throughout the day picked up the sweet potato chips from Kroger. We love these. Um, I got those because we have salsa and they had our favorite holy guacamole. It was buy one, get one free. And we love this. Like I eat avocado toast with this. Like I'll uh, make avocado toast with this. We eat it as a snack. We eat it by itself. We love guacamole. So I picked up two of those since they were buy one, get one free some margarine because we already have butter and they were actually like out of butter so we just need something like when i scramble up eggs and stuff i got two cucumbers three limes because they were at sprout three four dollar and then at sprout i picked up some avocados because again i eat these in my salad i'll eat them as a snack by themselves I will slice up a half of one and eat it with my eggs in the morning. We love avocados around here. So I picked up three avocados. And then I picked up some of these chicken breast nuggets um, for a lunch option for Kaden throughout the week. I picked up the apple sausage, chicken sausage that I like. Um, I make these in the morning for breakfast, scramble it up with the egg. 
Then I picked up some petite grapes. These are good for snacking. They're also good to put in salads and things of that nature. I picked up two lemons um, for my lemon water in the morning. I also picked up some celery because we love celery around here. Celery and ranch is like a snack for us. So I picked up some celery because we were out. I also picked up two sweet potatoes because um, I'm gonna have them as either dinner or lunch options for me throughout the week. Picked up two things of strawberries because we love fruit around here. And then speaking of fruit, they had grapes for 98 cents a pound at Sprout. So I picked up like, I don't know, five pounds worth. I picked up some Kobe Jack shredded cheese for salads throughout the week. Um, I picked up some turkey. This is the mesquite smoked uh, turkey breast. I always just get our uh, deli meat from fresh from the deli. I don't like um, prepackaged meats. So yeah. Um, and then I also get them to uh, slice our cheese for us. So I picked up some sliced Colby Jack for the week. I switch it up. Sometimes I'll get provolone. Sometimes I'll get Swiss. If I do get Swiss, I will get Sargento Swiss because that's actually pretty good. But for the most part, I always get our cheese sliced at the deli as well. I picked up some of these Tostito pizzas for Caden, the triple cheese, because he likes these. Again, lunch option for him throughout the week. I picked up two of the Spider-Man um, fruit snacks because he loves these. Um, I picked up some bananas, some fries, and back there is some broccoli. Orange juice for breakfast throughout the week. The fries are just to put with like chicken nuggets. Um, we've got burgers in there, stuff like that. Dinner and lunch options throughout the week. I'm trying this out. I don't know if Caden's gonna like this, but it's a chicken pot pie. I got two of them in an apple pie. Just again, I'm running out of lunch options for him throughout the week, so yeah. And then um, also I picked up these low fat yogurts. Uh, they're like yogurt tubes, no artificial flavors, no high fructose corn syrup for him, um, just as a snack as well. And I have, oh, and then I'm not going to lie, these are like a guilty pleasure for me. I really, really like these. I know they're artificially flavored, don't judge. Um, they're by Little Debbie's, but they're so good. And that you only get one. They're not like in a double pack. You only get one. So I don't feel so bad when I get them. Um, and then I just picked up some ragu, the traditional um, made with olive oil because we're going to make spaghetti this week. And then we needed some more salad dressing. And I just got the red wine vinaigrette because I really like this. And I like the calorie count on it. It's kind of low. So I got that. Okay. And... I also picked up some organic popcorn with the Himalayan pink salt and coconut oil. Um, this is the sprout version. Um, they didn't have the kind that I normally get. So I just picked up this kind. I've had it before. It's pretty good. I also picked up these miracle noodles um, because they're the angel hair style, keto and paleo friendly plant-based noodles. They have no calories at all and one gram of carbohydrates. No sugars, two grams of fiber. Um, so I figured this would be very like guilty free. So if I can, if they taste good, I'm gonna keep getting these um, so that I can have like options because we're trying to get our lives together here, okay? Um, and then I just buy one of these a week. It's the Sprout Organic Spring Mix. We eat a lot of salad around here. Like Kaden loves salad, Clarence loves salad. I love salad. Sometimes we do like big chef salads for dinner or lunch. So I always pick up like the big boy um, of salad mix. So I got that. And then what else? I picked up a big thing of apples, like a pound and a half of apples because they were 98 cents a pound. And we love apples. Again, another snack option for me or for Caden. I'll give them to him for breakfast. Um, sometimes I'll give them to him with peanut butter as a snack during the day like we love apples around here so i had to get those and then i got six ears of corn because they were three four dollar more than likely when we have mother's day dinner we'll probably roast these on the grill we're gonna grill for mother's day well he's gonna grill for mother's day um we've got some salmon in there we've got some shrimp so we're gonna have a nice grilled feast healthy grill feast of course for mother's day so i did get some corn so we could have that um what else I think that's it. 
oh, and then I got our bread. That's what I was getting too. Um, I always get this bread. It's from Kroger. It's a private selection wide pan bread. I love it because it's big and I love to make avocado toast with this. Um, I love to make sandwiches with this. It has no high fructose corn syrup. It has 26 grams of whole grains per serving. Like this is a really, really good bread and it's always $1.99. So it's a good price. It's good for you. Um, so if you're a person who has a Kroger next to you, this particular bread is really, really good. Uh, I also got some um, ground turkey. I'm gonna make this tonight, not for dinner, but for the week. So what I do is I just go ahead and like ground this, brown it and put it in the refrigerator, season it up. And then I put it in burritos, I put it in salads. Um, I'll have a little bit of it like sometimes for breakfast with some fruit and eggs, like scramble it up in my eggs. Like this is so good. So um, if you're like me and you kind of struggle with meals throughout the week, this is a really, really good option to do and I always get it from Sprout. It's always like $2.99, super inexpensive, but super good for you. Okay, real quick, I wanted to show you guys what I got from the Dollar Tree too. So they had this cute little like gold wire basket and I've seen these at like Hobby Lobby and stuff for super expensive, but this was a dollar and I'm um, using it for the mail. Sometimes mail kind of like floats around here and um, if I could keep it in a central location, that would be nice. So I picked this up just so we could keep the mail in a central location. And then I have mentioned these on my Instagram before, but these little chatty, like three piece nylon, I don't know, foot liners with spandex or whatever you want to call them. I wear these with all of my low cut shoes. So like my Converse, my Vans, my slip in sneakers. These are perfect. They don't make your feet all stinky or anything. They stay on your foot all day. You get three pairs of them for a dollar. And I honestly wear a lot of low cut shoes. So I always pick up a couple pairs of these. I only picked up one this go round. Um, then they had this Vaseline and I got it honestly because of the size. Um, this would be perfect to put in Cam's little, I have like a little bin with all of his stuff. Kids need Vaseline for the boo-boos and for his butt and, you know, to prevent, uh, what do you call it? Diaper rash. If you put a little in the diaper, um, in those creases and crevices, it helps create like a little boundary. It's good for chapped lips, like so many things. So I picked up this. And then I'd been needing this for our refrigerator, just some baking soda. That's the dog. I don't know who he hears, but let him be. Um, yes, yeah, so I picked up a um, baking soda for the fridge. And then they have this book. It's a child's play Montessori games and activities for your baby and toddler. Um, it was a dollar. So I got it. And I figured we could do some things um, that are in here. Originally $17.99. So um yeah i just thought this would be fun too and here's what's uh on the back of it. it says child's play is an activity book jam-packed with more than 60 montessori and montessori inspired play and learn ideas for parents to enjoy with their children activities are designed for ages one to three parents can also track their child's development on a sensory themed timeline it includes fun with mirrors sand with water games color matching sights and sounds dances to music uh, story games singing outdoor activities such as um nature collages and walks so I got this because honestly, it says one to three, but a lot of this stuff, I know with Caden, he started doing a lot of things at like that nine month mark. So well before he was a year. So I figured I would pick up this book and then they had these. And so I picked them up. They are um, Centronella Incense Sticks. We sit on our patio a lot, um, just sometimes to get some sun, things like that. But who wants to deal with mosquitoes? I know I don't. So because you get six uh, long incense in here to kind of keep the bugs away, I figured we could stick these down in the little garden bed and um, let them go to keep bugs away while we're outside. So I got two packs of those. Whoa. And then I needed some um, cotton swabs, some Q-tips. So I got some of those. And then, like I said, we're going to get a um, couple of plants. And so, of course, you're going to need something that you can use to water them with. So I picked this up. 
that was everything from the Dollar Tree. Oh, I got two more other things. I'll show you what they are. It's the same item. I'll show you when I get upstairs because I actually gave them to Caden and had him take them upstairs. All right, y'all. So I'm sitting here, baby in hand. This is what he does. He doesn't like for me to put him down. I can't, I can't even swing the camera around so you can see him. Anyways, so I just did all of like our fruits and veggies and stuff. So um, we had pineapples, I cut up pineapple, um, washed all the berries, cut all the strawberries, put all the grapes away, cut a watermelon. So this week we'll be eating all watermelon, grapes, pineapples, and strawberries as far as fruit. And then I did get like four or five bananas um, just in the interim. Sometimes people like to grab them and go. I know parents will grab them in the morning and go. Um, I washed, wiped down, well, I need to wipe down the counters. Um, but the refrigerator is nice and organized and everything. So we are good this week on foods and dinner ideas and what we'll be eating. Um, basically, this is how I conduct our weeks. Um, I pick a day on the weekend to kind of hunt and gather. I write a list and I go and I get everything. I come back, I organize it for the week and that's how we like maintain ourselves throughout the week. Um, so we know what we're eating and what we're having and we don't have to leave the house for anything. Um, nobody leaves the house during the week except for Clarence. So yeah, that's how that goes. Um, and then packages come via Amazon and UPS and all that stuff throughout the week. And there's a can of Lysol that sits by the door. We spray everything down. Um, my mom was able to get us like this huge box of gloves. So we are good on gloves. Um, like I said, Clarence's job gives out masks to them every day and it's like a two pack of masks. So we're good on masks. Um, and my mom was able to get like a four pack of the jumbo Lysol spray from Sam's. And then we have tons of disinfectant wipes um, and hand sanitizer and we are good on soap. So as far as like disinfecting and stuff, we are good as far as um, cleaning products. I am beyond good on cleaning products. I have all the Lysol and Comet and Clorox cleaning. I have four things of bleach. Like, we are good here. Um, so I pray that everybody else is well. Um, and honestly, this week we're not doing too much of anything. I don't know if this is going to be the end of the vlog or not. It's about 6.15 now in the evening. And that was just like my hunt and gather day. Um, I hauled everything that I could for you guys. Um, it's kind of hard to like vlog in the stores. So I didn't really do that because when I get in there, um, I'm not like frolicking. I'm literally like trying to get in and out. So it's really hard to like fumble with the camera and, um, you know, be in there as quick as I possibly can. Um, and then, oh, also today I did some like, you know, just normal top of the month things, um, made our rent payment, um, did my car payment, um, did our light bill, like those kind of things. Um, and we're fortunate enough to, you know, be financially stable in this time as well. So, you know, I just want to send blessings to everybody. Hopefully everybody is doing well in this pandemic. I'm praying for you know everyone's financial health mental health physical health um because it is hard you know i have friends who have been laid off from their jobs i am lucky to be in um a field that is considered to be um somewhat like essential i guess and so we won't be shutting down we'll just be working from home so that's you know the benefit and the luxury for me is that i'm literally on my maternity leave for 16 weeks well I'm already almost six weeks into that 16 weeks. So another 10 weeks um, that I'll be on maternity leave paid. Um, and then after that, I'll still be working from home. Um, Clarence is the only person that has to leave. And his building is, you know, so clean and secure because what he, the reason he's considered essential is because he works for a chemical based company. So they make like their own cleaning products and things like that as well. So you know, he's good in that department too. Um, so we are blessed on this end of the spectrum and I'm just hoping that everybody else is blessed as well. Um, 
but yeah, but that's pretty much how we have been maintaining and keeping our week. It's just, you know, one essentials run a week and sanitizing everything, keeping everything clean, um, having a meal plan for the week so that we know what we're eating so we're not overspending. Um, I literally spent like $70 this week on the groceries, which is great. Um, actually, no, I spent about 100 Um, I try to keep it 100 or less a week. Um, you know, we keep our, our cars full, like as far as gas, make sure we pay all the bills and stuff on time and everything that we would normally be spending on, you know, going out and this and that, we're capping it and saving it. So, um, you know, make the right decisions in this quarantine time, you guys. Do what's best for yourselves and just um, stay on the right track, stay prayed up and, you know, do do what it is that you need to do. I am going to go and try to put this baby down, y'all. He is so knocked out. I wish I could flip the camera, y'all, so y'all can see he is, like, knocked. Um, yeah, so I'm about to take him upstairs and lay him down and just try to get a little bit of rest myself and organize my week with the things I need to do because I do have, like, some deep household cleaning that I want to do. Um, so I'm going to try to get those things done throughout the week so that Mother's Day weekend... We are literally just like doing nothing because that is my plan is to do a bunch of nothing for Mother's Day weekend. Like I don't want to move like at all. I just want to luxuriate and enjoy. So um, if this is the end of the blog, I'll, vlog, I'll see you guys later. If not, I'll see you guys in the next clip. So I thought I was finished vlogging, but I guess I'm not. <laughs> um, I am currently just making some sauteed green beans these are the simple truth organic ones from kroger and i just browned up some um ground beef and this will probably be lunch for me or dinner for the next few days um so that i don't have to like worry about it throughout the week and then what's in here that i'm like sauteing everything up with is just some olive oil um, Himalayan pink salt, black pepper, and, um, mint garlic. So, this will be a meal for me throughout the week. I'm coming up on my six weeks, so, um, you know, just gotta clean up the diet, which I started doing that about two weeks ago, um, and I've been pretty good about that, so. And I'm not gonna lie, I may have, like, a small cup of coffee, y'all, because I'm tired, but I have, still have a bunch of things I need to do, but... Just so saucing these up, I'm going to put them in this little um, dish here and it'll sit in the fridge.